All right, everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, yesterday, I got out here and I color sanded this door uh, all the way around, inside, backside. <clears throat> and uh, I guess, uh, you know, I was just planning on coloring this spot right here, but I found a few more around the edges. A couple right in here that was chipped. And uh, so I've decided now that I'm going to go ahead and seal this whole blue part of it. And I haven't decided yet on the gray. I don't have a lot of gray, as you know, if you watched any of my other videos. I've talked about it. I've got about a pint of gray left. And I still got to do the tailgate stri strip on the tailgate. That's not going to take a whole pint there. I still got to do the gas door. That won't take a pint, but I'm afraid if I try to paint the whole gray part, I'm going to run out. So i got to get a little bit more gray around the edges, and especially around the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that up, and I'm going to just go ahead and clear the rest. Uh, still see a good bit of shiny in here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back today. The plan was originally to leave the window in, but since I've decided to, to, to go ahead and repaint the whole door, basically, I need to get rid of, I need to get these wiring harness out. Right in here, I got real thin with, with the uh, clear coat in this area right here. So, yeah, and this stuff here, it's a real pain to uh, color sand. This, kind of uneven, got some divots here where these bolts go, all this stuff here is wrinkled and rippled. Very, very, very difficult to color sand well, not without burning through. Got another chip right here. I need to, you know, some here and here where the hinge chipped it. A bad one right here with the, uh, the, uh, dome light switch hit it I can't believe those dome light switches are that are that strong but it uh, I think it must have been out of alignment or something so I'm going to go ahead and pull this window back out I've already took all the other hardware out the handle the latch the lock all I like is the, is the window regulator and the window so I'll hook the battery back up to my little harness here and get that out of there. The one good news is uh, on this ashtray, I was able to uh, pretty much, got, you can see just a little bit of that scratch, just a little. But I was able to color sand and buff out most of it. So you can see things yeah, it's got some fine scratches in it it probably needs to be uh, primed and and color color I mean uh, wet sanded with primer but the interior of this truck's fairly dark and I'm just not gonna worry about this little scratch to go to all the trouble I'm gonna have, would have to to sand this down and prime it color sand it seal it paint it clear it it's just a lot of work for a little piece it's probably never going to be noticed, that little scratch. Of course, the first time it's open and closed, it's going to have scratches on anyway. So I'm not even going to worry about that. I can live with that. It didn't go away to the metal. It's just, it went down deep, deep in the clear coat. But uh, I, use, I use this uh, Meguiar's. It's a 105 with my buffer cut it down and then I hand polished it with this 205 and uh, cause it's hard to get the machine to uh, to act right with this little bit piece here so that's ready to go we're gonna work on this uh, door some more get this window out probably end up doing a little more sanding on it I couldn't really tell yesterday what I got and what I hadn't got but as you can see uh, there's a good bit that uh, 
There's a good bit of Bondo on this door, or body filter rather, not really Bondo. I have a bug. And uh, pretty sure there's a lot right up in this area. I think it was mostly confined to this big space here. And it don't feel bad. I don't really feel any dents in it. Might feel a little bit of a dent right in here where it's kind of dark. There's a little low spot right there. I could feel it as I run my hand across it. You can see it. You can see it right there. And it's not as bad as the one on the other door. It did have some little sags in the clear on this door. But I ain't worried about that. I, I sand them out. And uh, when I clear it again, that should go away. Hopefully I don't have no more. You can sign to see a, a little bit of something right there. A little, a little run, sag, whatever you want to call it. Right in there. I got a little bit more to get up here. So a lot more sanding today. Get the window out. And uh, too bad I can't paint today because it's actually, uh, humidity is actually pretty low for some time here. 57%, 87 degrees. Now this is 87 in the shade. Remember I got this nice big oak shade over this building. It's 94 outside in the sun. Uh, I've been driving my diesel truck trying to get keep it uh, from sitting too much. And uh, that's going to be the next project right there. I ain't decided what all I want to do to it yet, but uh, definitely want, I got to I got to revisit that baby. So I got this thing all covered up and ready to paint in here. And uh, got the fender temporarily installed. Just, just a couple of bolts holds it on right now. So I'll bring you back when I get some more done on this door. May not be today, but uh, it'll be on this video. Alright, here it is in clear. I'm just kidding. I just got done washing it off. And uh, yeah, it looks good and shiny with the water. So I went back over everything with 800, knocked off all the shiny I could without trying to just intentionally get into the color. I don't I think I did a pretty good job stuff around the edges. I got a little bit of color, but uh yeah. So final rinse. It's drying as you can see. Around the edge. It might be just a here and there a little shot of shiny but you can see I've dug into the edge there so all that's going to get covered with sealer tomorrow hopefully and uh, uh, then the next day would be say days Tuesday so Wednesday Thursday hopefully we can get in here and uh, paint it Thursday and Friday if the weather hold out Today would have been ideal, but I didn't get enough sanding done yesterday. I had kind of debating on where I was going with this. And uh, I used uh, this 800 grit. I might have said that already. This stuff is, uh, it's got the pill off backing. And it sticks good when your block's dry, but once your block's wet, it don't stick good to wet block. Yeah, I still see a little bit of. I didn't get a good right in through here. Dad damn it. I don't really, really don't want to have to sand more on this. I think it'll be alright for some uh, sealer. Uh, hopefully. And so I'll bring you back next video. Maybe we'll get this thing painted. And uh, get it back on the truck where I can finish getting the fender and, and, and inner fender installed. And uh, get on the hood. Because the hood and the tailgate is really all locked paint I got to do some sandblasting on the hood I got to do a little bit of repair on the tailgate so uh, anyway that's coming I figured it up the other day if I could do everything I wanted to do in a day I had about 45 working days to finish this truck if that was figuring on uh, three or four days a week a couple hours a day a couple you know a little more on the weekends when i can so i'm looking at probably mid-october hopefully being done with this thing about time it starts getting cool weather so 
Anyway, that's the update. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and hit.